if there's some things you've been postponing, uh, some decisions you have just, you know, haven't gotten to, uh, I would ask you to just, you know, take out your journal and just go through, you know, what have I been postponing that's not going to be better for my health, it's not going to be better for my future, it's not going to enhance my finances. Uh, maybe a problem needs to be solved. I got to decide when I'm going to do it and, and, and how I'm going to proceed. I need to get to it. I promise you, if you'll go through some of that list uh, and start making those decisions, uh, your inspiration will start to flow, and those could be very critically important, exciting days. Uh, indecision is the thief of opportunity. Uh, indecision means the door is still closed. Uh, indecision means the opportunity waits. Uh, indecision means what could be is postponed or may never be. And you know, that those are all the penalties of indecision. And sometimes we can't make a snap judgment. We can't decide immediately on something so important. But after a while, after a while, we must understand sometimes the heavy penalty of putting off our, our decision making. So one source of inspiration, deciding. Here's the next one, planning. Now that you've decided and you've started, you start making plans, it's in, incredible what can happen as a source of inspiration. When finally what's in your head, what's in your imagination, now finally starts to take shape. But when I started putting it on paper and started making the plans, that was an incredible source of inspiration for me. Because the plans seem to now start making it real that what I had thought about, what I dreamed about, now I'm actually getting to it by making a plan. That inspiration now must drive you uh, to do number three. The first source of inspiration is deciding, second source of inspiration is planning, and now here's a big source of inspiration, beginning, getting started. Actually turning thought and the notes on the paper, the plans, actually now committing it to action, getting started. And beginning can be an incredible source of inspiration. Guess what you can say when you begin a change in your dollars? Guess what you can say? I'm on a new track. I have carved out for myself a new beginning. I'm on my way to the most incredible health. I will never be the same again. I'm leaving the old, undisciplined part of me, I'm leaving that behind. I'm a new person. I'm taking my first shake. I'm swallowing the first tablets. I made my first, you know, walk around the block that I'd thought about for so long and never did. I finally did it today. I've started, I have begun. That is an incredible source of inspiration and that is to start to begin you cannot believe what can happen to your self-esteem and many of you have already experienced it I'm just asking you to begin something new in all the areas of your life maybe you've always thought about benevolence and you just haven't gotten started or you haven't made the plans or you haven't made the decision I'm asking you to start taking that stuff now that's in your head that imagination which is very powerful and it's a great source of inspiration in itself. But then I'm asking you then to decide, use that inspiration. Then I'm asking you to make plans, begin to make plans, use that inspiration. And then if you take that first step, uh, it can be the first step of an incredible journey. You get started, you'd thought about it, you made some plans for it, you made some time for it, but there's nothing like sitting there in the class with the pen in your hand and the pad ready to take notes here I am, I'm starting on a new journey of learning.